again, everything we mentioned about Snake on the stage, the C4 is going to be really handy on the platform. Uh, covers a big area, as well as having additional setups off of his throws on the platform. I like his dash, um, Nello's dash back movement too, into, um, his dash attack also does so much damage. It's a down air. That as well. I love seeing uh, Snake's moves connect. Yeah, absolutely. You can see that he did, uh, Mr. E was able to beat out that uh, Nikita hitbox with the fair. Yeah. It may be a tad easier to beat. With the sword? Uh, with this, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. This joint's going to be useful. Um, however, and it's a little, probably a little bit easier now that the uh, Nikita hitbox has been reduced. However, it's still just like such a risky option to try to even beat it out. Normally, you just want to avoid it altogether. And that could just put you in a really bad spot. Yeah, see, uses the up special, still going to get thwarted. Mr. E had a massive de percent deficit right here. I was about to say, uh, if Melo got the grab, that was going to be a free up tilt, but he didn't even need it, the C4 actually securing it. Knowing him at 180, it was definitely what he needed to solidify that first stock, uh, which is also very important. And it's always boost your confidence to get that first stock out of the way. But actually, I feel like the second stock is a lot more important um, when you're at this part of the game, because whoever gets the second stock, I feel like that like, really makes it or breaks it as well. Um, For it's sure. really hard to make the comeback when you have stock versus two. Okay, using the shield breaker right there. Okay, catching him out of his double jump. He's gonna recover high. He's still yeah. gonna hit him out. Mr. E's gonna continue to chase him right here. Uh, Snake has like limited landing options. He's pretty slow moving while he's in the air. Doesn't have too much drift, but he does have a couple of things. He can use his grenades. He can be reversed to kind of mix up his landing. Um, and he can also drop C4 while he's falling uh, in an attempt to like prematurely either like sticky it onto them or oh wow that what a read off the down throw at about 100 percent reading the roll out chasing them down connecting the up tilt mellow moving up a stock in this game number one against mr e Yo. oh okay is he dead yep directional air dodge into the blast zone we're down to our last lives for both players now yeah he did miss that second tech unfortunately but um it is basically even Right now, bringing it down, Jesus, not letting Mr. E land here at uh -oh. all, making it super difficult. Okay, C4 on the platform, gotta be careful, down wow. throw into the up tilt, not, not enough. enough. Okay, the Nikita drop, also not enough to take it, but this is a scary situation for Mr. E. Definitely at 143%, um, 12%. Uh, just about anything will kill. Pretty much, man. That forward tilt by the lead. C4 is going to be super dangerous. Back air is going to kill. Up air is going to kill. Down throw into the up tilt is online after 160%. Ooh. So if he gets a grab right now, Mr. E is done for. What? But maintaining patience all the way through. Wow. Reading the neutral getup option from Mello and punishing he with the perfect forward smash. And it was yeah. just enough. Yep. All that work. <laughs> that was crazy. No, I mean, but Mr. Really e, read. like, doing a lot of work as well. He was so at a much. really big deficit. And all, you know, he just had to. No, yeah, he brought that back. Maintain that composure great. and brought it back. Sure enough, got the one right read he needed to get that super Doesn't early stock. even look phased. But, yeah, definitely both players put nice a lot of work. It's just crazy that uh, how strong that tipper F smash can be. For sure. Ridiculous. Go! All right. Yeah. I'm, surpri I'm surprised no one's kicked me off the mic yet. Well, uh, actually, I know z -Fi, I think he headed out because he said he's not feeling good. He feels like he's getting sick. Oh, no. So, um, you know, sick. if anything, Kareem could probably hop on. If you want, I could hop off, switch, whatever. Um, definitely probably need water here. I'm, like, coughing yeah, so all much. All I'm sorry is, about that. Chat. All I have is Red Bull on me. Oh, I have a little bit of water left. I don't know if you want to. I'll probably have to waterfall it just because, though. I don't want to, like, you know. If you want. It's, it's there. I'll water call that. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Mr. E taking an early lead right here. 84 to 110. If you could even call it a lead, uh, reminder, Snake has tons of KO potential, and we see it with the up tilt right there, killing at 100% after the hit, 102, in fact. Um, but this is similar to game number one. Mr. E is not going to be too phased here. After all, he's got a stock lead. 
he could definitely bring this back and secure the stock early with I'm that up air. Absolutely. He's starting off pretty well, already uh, getting Mello at 15 percent here. Yeah, bringing the game right back. Parry into the grab, forcing Mello into all these bad spots, just I like, like Mr. E wants. Mr. E, I'm very kind of scared down onto uh, the ground there. He's doing that on the platform as well. It's oh. also a tricky position. It's Uh, doing doing a uh, advancing back air onto the stage, actually getting uh, securing the stage position and getting some damage in on Mr. E. Forced high recovery right here. Fortunately, makes it back to the ledge. Mr. E still racking up a lot of percent, but he can't take too much more damage of his own. Oh snap! Okay, that was super scary. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Snake uh, would have trying to go for that forward air spike and not going to work out. Mr. E just lining up the back air and taking his life. Okay, up smash, the mortar not going to be enough. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah, really, really great down smash. I mean, he used the up smash to prevent Mr. E from going. Oh, he, oh he, does he have enough? He's going to use C4. It was on the stage. Snake can use the C4 to uh, secure his recovery back. Yeah, he can, he can uh, detonate it on himself to pop him back up into the air and get another up special. But... Uh, he, and in most cases, he's just gonna like tech the stage yeah. and then use up special. Kind of like we see with like a two link young. Lady yes. Situation where the um, bomb unfortunately up. for Mello, the C4 <laughs> was already on the stage and he, he, he was not able to get it. So I guess we are in winter semis already. Is that correct, Avi? Well, we'll see on the overlay right now. I didn't, I didn't actually catch it. But he doesn't. So I was kind of hoping he would. Be so we're gonna get game number three here. Uh, Mr. E working on this 3-0, potentially. It is winner semis. And uh, Mello, I mean, down by a lot in this set, but definitely keeping the games incredibly close. Yeah, this is a, I feel like Mello is also slowly really adapting as well. Oh, 100. Figuring it out, but yeah, this stock. The adaptation. Very scary. Yeah, the, the adaptation goes both ways. You can see Mr. E already cleaning up that stock, catching the directional air dodge, punishing with the forward smash. Only 13% on his stock right now. Oh, he tries to end it all with a down air. Uh, really smart play. Like, oh, oh yo, Mello. Mello, awesome. though. Okay, I love the aggression from Mello. I mean, it. if he's going to lose an early stock, he's, he's going to do everything he can to pull himself back into the game. In that case, forward air connecting. Uh, to put us down at two stocks apiece. Oh, deep up air chases right here. C4 set up on the platform. Limited options right there. He got the down throw, the grenade connecting, and the C4 right above him. Yeah, already at 130, though. I feel like this, every time I look over, it makes One more forward air, one more back air. Uh, but that up. forward air, not enough. Might be a little stale, but there it is again, and he's gonna get the edge guard. Mr. E. Working on this 3-0 right now, only at 48%. Looking really, really good. He's definitely looking poised to take the set. There's that setup again with the up smash. Up smash into down smash. It just fuels him. Nice. Dude, he has got such great reads on Mr. E's defensive options. He gets that down throw, wasn't at the right percent to get the guaranteed confirm into the up tilt, but he got the chase. Yet again right there, this time opting for the forward tilt, which does have two hits, ensuring that he uh, actually had a punish there. Mello uh, has control of the stage right now. He's setting up these up smash traps. Uh, Mr. E fortunately getting back onto the stage and regaining the position himself. 
That's so good. Epso at this point just sets up with the edge for the edge guards with Nikita. Yo, shield break setups. Unfortunately, there comes that uh that overall nerf to projectiles. Mello putting one on the board, man. He's probably doing pretty good uh, considering he knows just how close those first two games are. And in game number three, he's able to actually take it. The adaptation, once again, coming out from both players. We're gonna get game number four. Let's see where they're gonna go. Wrecking Crew, hell yeah, man. Smashville it is. It's getting late, man. It's like 11.30. We're, we're getting closer to midnight now. It's, uh, like I said, I had like a Thai, ice, uh, Thai milk tea, which has pretty much a lot of uh, caffeine, and then a Red Bull before I got on the mic because I was feeling too tired. Um, I hate actually drinking energy drinks. I never do, but I, I was I recognized just how tired I was. I was like, I'm going to be trash on commentary if I don't do this. Drive safe. And yeah, that's another thing. I'm, I'm going to be, be able to drive home. Taking a big lead right here, 145 on the snake. Yo. Tech, that was brilliant, actually. Uh, I kind of expected the downer, but he went out there, uh, lined himself up with Mello, and hit the dolphin slash back towards the stage. Fortunately, he did tech, but it put him into the situation where Mr. E was just able to follow up with the uh, it was either forward or the back there. The sword. Great pressure on this platform. Down throw, yep, into the up tilt. I mean, I don't know like how he's actually getting these at 100%. Uh, by the ledge, it seems like uh, Mr. E is just like probably a little too scared. I feel like he should be able to like roll back and then not get punished by it. Well, his options are limited, really. Like, Melo is just taking a, a guess, right? He's like, all right, up tilt. Like, you can't roll, you can't roll back uh, to the ledge because you don't have enough room. You're either gonna roll back or stay in place. Like his his options were cut down by basically a third. Uh, and yeah, so Melo just capitalizing on making it's making it the right reads. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm back. Like, wait, is he gonna go off stage and accept that? But yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I won. Yeah. And Mr. E for sure. Def Mr. E taking it with a three-one. Uh, definitely having a much more dominant performance in that last game, taking the two stock with only 30-something percent.